Welcome back. We have our bees. So um, what are we going to do today? Today we're going to transfer them from our nuke boxes. There's uh, one that kind of likes me. From our nuke boxes into the, the hives. So uh, uh, over the last uh, few days, if you have been around the Grand Prairie area or uh, northern Alberta area, this is the time of year where a lot of the bee packages and nukes start to show up. We're a little bit late this year just due to the cold weather and everything that we had. But uh, we have three strong, oh, oh, I bit my tongue. We have three strong nukes here. Um, so inside of these, these are all four frame. You're gonna find a couple of these wooden boxes. Um, they're five frame boxes, but what we did there is there's still a standard four frame nuke that we purchased. There's just one frame in there that we use as a spacer frame. So it was just a, a blank frame of, uh, um, of waxed uh, plastic foundation in there just to add as a spacer. So. What do we got to do? How do we have to set it up? Um, I have a couple here that um, a friend of mine can't quite pick up for a few days. As you can see, I already have them uh, placed out there. So it's important when you first get your nukes, set them where they're going to be, um, get some feed to them right away, and let them orientate. So they've been there now for, uh, well, almost uh, just about two days. So as you can see, they've all been flying around. They've been orientated. I filled their feeders up this morning again. So in a day, they've already taken down that whole jar. So they've already had a full quart um, or just over right around a liter of uh, uh, one to one sugar water. And uh, they're working on their second liter already. So it's important once we get these transferred to make sure we feed them, feed them, feed them, feed them. I got some pollen patties we're gonna be giving them, lots of sugar water. Right now is the time where we need to get that queen going. We need to get her uh, laying eggs. We need to get that brood uh, happening so that uh, that hive can expand, fill up, and uh, start the, the collection of the honey and the pollination. So that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about equipment. Um, as these are not my hives, I have them quite a ways away from my apiary. Um, a, they're new nukes, so uh, even though they are from a uh, commercial um, vendor that sells them, they have been inspected by the, the Alberta uh, inspector, so they have uh, passed all those inspections. I still don't want to run the risk at all of bringing any mites, disease, or anything like that to my apiary. So uh, um, I only will use my equipment in my apiary. This is, uh, this is my, my buddy's brother's actually equipment, but they, they put all their stuff together. So this is their equipment. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I keep it all separate. I don't suspect there's any issues. I mean, uh, I've helped them out with their bees and stuff like that as well, um, but I'm not gonna take any chances. So if you're using used equipment, always be aware. You don't know what the full history of it is. Be very cautious. Um, even though, you know what, it might be cheap, it might be, it might be free in some cases, it might cost you way more than what it would be to actually go get new equipment or equipment that you know the history of. So uh, we're gonna set all these up. So we're gonna set them up with a bottom board, just like we would anywhere else. As you can see, these here are all fairly clean. So a bottom board, then they're gonna go a single um, root chamber for now. Then we're gonna put the, uh, the cover on the top. So, um, Let's, uh, let's get in and let's start that. Okay, so we are going to build our hive right where this is. Those bees are all oriented to go back in there right now. So this is exactly where we're going to set our, our hive up. Uh, we're just gonna, literally, we're gonna move this forward. We're gonna set the hive and everything all up right there. And then as we transfer the frames out, whatever order the frames are inside the box is how we're going to put those frames inside the hive. We're going to put some blank frames or empty frames. In this case, he has some drawn out comb already on both sides. So the queen will start to lay her eggs and build a nest in the center of the hive, and then she'll work outwards from there. So uh, let's get the screwdriver, let's get this open up, and let's get it started. So anytime you're working in these hives, the trick is, is um, and there's different opinions on this. What I have found is, if you move slow, steady, and gentle, you end up with gentle bees. If you're always banging and clashing and, uh, um, and really disturbing the hive and pulling frames and stuff out and rolling bees, 
the bees are going to learn that and they're going to be a very uh well very much so they're going to be aggressive they're going to try and stop that um you know anything uh anything that's going to disturb them every time something's here they're going to think the hive is getting attacked so the slower you can move the gentler you can be the better it is and they've already got this sealed on there pretty good And there they are. Because we've moved them, you really want to check to make sure the queen isn't in there. So let's get these moved forward here before we get too much into there. And let's get our base and stuff put down. So I'm just going to remove the feeder for now. You can hear the difference in the hive already. And I'm just going to move this hive forward. We're going to put our baseboard down here right where uh, right where the hive was. We want it to be fairly level and solid. All right. Next, we're going to put our hive box on. Level it all up at the back. To make sure it's all clean once again these aren't mine just trying to help a buddy out there we go all right so like we said out of this hive into this one and as steady as we can get Once again, lots ready to go. And I'm just looking quickly for the queen too. I did let them know that these are nice and gentle. I haven't marked the queen yet. So if we do find it, we might just mark it for them as well. Ever so gently. Notice how the bees aren't getting all excited. That is exactly what we want. Slow and steady. So this is the second frame, just looking really quickly for the clean. And into the hive. Okay, so the queen was on that one. So let's see if we can get her marked for him. Once again, normally I wouldn't do this when I'm transferring them. You want them to get comfortable in the hive and stuff like that first, but where did she go? we do we do not want to hurt her she just doesn't want to get in there there we go got her
2021 is white. Now I'm just going to let that dry for a little bit. And you notice I'm not putting her in the sun. I'm trying to keep her out of the way. While we move the rest of these over. So now I can go a little bit quicker because I know the queen's not there. You can hear I'm getting a little bit more excited. Okay, and I know the thing's not on here, so I can shake those bees in. And then we're just going to fill it up with, here's some draw a comb for her to use. Here's some honey for them and pollen. And then just some blank frames. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more. And ten. We're going to even this up. Now we're going to let her out here. Got to make sure. Where she's at, when this door opens up, I don't want to catch her. And then we're going to let her go back in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see if she walks out or not. Maybe I'll bring the camera around. Maybe you can see as she walks out. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see if we can coax her out of here a little bit. So you want to be careful because they'll do what's called balling the queen. So if she gets stressed or anything like that, she'll release some pheromones and then they'll actually attack her. And that's the last thing we want. So she should walk out of there here shortly and then down in below. See if I can convince them to come out a little bit just by forcing them up and out. Once again, you want to be very, very careful. You don't want to stress them in any way. There, they're all starting to come out there now. And there she is, so we'll. Just force her out a little bit further. And there she is. And there she went right down inside. So now that she's gone, we'll just shake all the rest of these bees off. Get them out of here. And then we are on to the next one. So the bees that are left, I'm just going to let them sit right down in front like that. We're going to put a top cover on. So first an inner cover. And now with this inner cover, I can feed them. But I'm still, because they we're used to this one, I'm going to still feed them in through the front here. Just like this. Just like I did last time. We'll cover up the top and we're done. On to the next one. All 
I almost forgot the pollen pack. They're set. All right, so same thing for the second one. I'm going to remove the feeder. I'm just going to set it up ahead here for now. It's kind of out of the way. We're going to move the box forward. They'll set bottom board. in the high box in get it all squared away and then the same thing again using the screwdriver we'll take the top off so this hive this is one that came from a commercial vendor just get rid of those so uh it was a little bit of a gong show. So I've used this vendor before in the past with no problems whatsoever, but uh, yeah, this year it, uh, I was not impressed this year. So delay after delay, um, things weren't there where, when I was supposed to be there. But you can see, this is where we used just a filler frame I was talking about. We set that there because I'm going to shake those bees off of him and he has his own frames. Okay. Slow and easy. So this one here we've got eggs and open larva which is usually what you'll get when you buy a, uh, a nuke. So bees, I don't see a queen nice and calm once again that's from them sitting here for a while and they know that uh, maybe they know the venture is over i want to make sure i have my queen catching cage nearby here some of his queen's remarks some weren't so i don't know if the one in here was or not Oh, we got a queen cell happening there, so let's just look quickly to see if we can spot a queen in here. This is pretty much brood, which is what he uh, he advertised. So, one frame of open larva, two frame of brood, and one of feed. So that's exactly what he has delivered here. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to get rid of that queen cell because that's not good. And it, uh, you can see it's dried, so there was nothing in there. So once again, the same way they come out is the way that I'm putting them back in. Ever so gently and nice and slow because we know the queen is still in here somewhere. There she is right there. She has a mark. So we're just going to get her right in. And this, as advertised, is pollen and honey. So. Once again, we're just going to this over right here in front. Not further. Away. Maybe we'll just stick that right in there right now. There and then it's empty frames. So this drawn out comb like this, she'll uh, find and lay on really quickly. 
which is great when you have uh, new hives like this that you're trying to set up. Level three on that side. And three. Like I said, this one here, so you can see the bees have pretty much all left it all already. But. All right. A Paul and Patty. And you usually put this right on top of the brood if you can. So. Excuse me, ladies. A uh, inner top cover. And then we'll cover the top up. Just like that, we're done. So I'll leave these. These bees will all find their way into there. They'll smell her. But uh, that's it. You can see pretty calm. I had the smoker here, but I didn't have to use it at all. And uh, once again, as the frames come out of the uh, out of the nuke box, you put them in the center of your hive the same way they came out. That way uh, the queen is happy. She'll start laying in here right away. Um, lots of feed. Make sure you give them some pollen patties. Um, they don't know the area, so it'll take a little while. And our pollen is started here, but we're not into our flow yet. So the more you feed these bees now, uh, and get them building up, get that queen laying, um, the better you'll be when our honey flow starts up here so them to start to, to gather it. So that's it. Um, hopefully this helped you get your, your nukes into your hives. Once again, uh, if you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe uh, down below. I do have a giveaway that I'm going to be announcing here shortly within my next video to one of my first 100 subscribers. So you're probably gonna wanna get in on that. And then, of course, if you ring this bell over here, um, you'll get notifications of uh, the next time I put up videos. So until next time, get your bees in your, uh, out of your nukes into your hives, and uh, happy beekeeping.